guys and welcome to another Some Guys Productions video. Alright, today we're actually going to look at something a little different, but it's a continuation from the having 5.1 surround sound on a Mac in general. Um, the method I showed on my last video, a couple of videos ago, uh, to how to put 5.1 surround sound on through an optical cable, digital out cable, uh, on a MacBook Pro is pretty much the same method for an iMac as well, or a MacBook. For a Mac Pro, it's a little bit different. Uh, you do actually have to take a little bit in mind that the optical port and the analog port are two separate ports now. They're not the same port like on a MacBook Pro and an iMac. So, in order to do this, it pretty much requires you to have a stock standard uh, optical cable that you plug into an amp, or in this case, Z5500, which has the capability of plugging into an optical port. So that works true in Mac OS, but uh, in Windows it's a different story. Like, you do have to take in account that optical is not always going to work in everything like games and all that sort of thing. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Windows XP it still detects 2.1 channel and same in uh, Windows Vista. You're not really going to get the 5.1 surround sound that you want to in games, movies and stuff like that, as I have found. Uh, Windows XP didn't even, I don't know, it seemed to think that my internal speaker in the Mac Pro was my <coughs> left speaker and my right speaker of my Z5500 was the uh, right speaker. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, I couldn't actually f get a way to get the optical, well to install the correct drivers or the latest drivers for the Windows side of things to get uh, 5.1 chip surround sound working off the optical cable in Windows bootcamp. Uh, I haven't tried it with uh, Parallels or um, Fusion yet, but I'm sure it'll probably work. But um, within Bootcamp, natively Windows, uh, didn't work. So the only way I can think about actually doing this is to actually put in a 5.1 channel card just for Windows. Now you can pick up one for, you know, 50 bucks, an X5 for about 50 bucks, PCI Express, and all that sort of thing. So this is what I picked up here. I'm actually going to install this. This is a uh, X5 Extreme audio card. It's PCI Express, single card. It has the six channel direct sound and supports up to 7.1 channel surround sound. Um, so this is what I'm going to tr actually use to see how well it'll run in a Mac Pro and if I see any kernel panic happen. But from what I've seen from Hackintoshes, and all that sort of stuff, they actually have a driver for the X5 in Mac OS. So I'm guessing, yeah, maybe it won't crash the system, but we'll soon find out. Okay. Alright, so enjoy. I'm going to actually put this into the Mac Pro and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, uh, while we're just booting up Windows there, we're going into Windows Vista Ultimate 32-bit. Uh, uh, yes, I'm going in 64 bit. So, um, just a quick see what the card we're actually going to put in. Alright. Okay. Let's pull this fella out. Okay, sealed box. Good. I'll just grab a knife. Let's cut this bad boy open. Well, let's hope it's not a bad boy <laughs> in terms of, uh, let's hope it works. Okay, I'm just going to cut this open. This is the dangerous way of cutting things, children. <sighs> okay. It's off. There we go. Alright. And we're presented with this. XFI in a special box. Okay, and of course, the drivers. 
hopefully this is supporting everything. It says it does. Um, custom support. First, we'll have a look in this box. And it's just the card. So, happy joy joy there. And I can get it out. This is the card we're actually going to put in. So yeah, as you got your six channels there, and it apparently has optical as well, but won't really care about that in Windows. Um, so yeah, PCI Express. Let's put her in. All right. First things we're going to do here, guys, is actually uninstall this. Uh, Realtek uh, high definition audio driver for Windows, so I'm getting rid of that. I'm unsure what's actually going to happen before I actually install this, so I'm getting rid of this first. Uh, yep. So that's going to run through it. Let's see there. It's just uninstalling that. So, yeah, once I've got that uninstalled, I've got to restart, obviously. So, yeah. I'm going to reboot and I'll start installing it. Okay, first things first guys, we have to take out this plate. Okay, once that plate's out, we can begin. Okay, I'll just stick this here. Alright, here's the XFI PCI Express. I'm going to put it straight in. Uh, just going to take that plate out. So I'm sick. Just going to take the outside plate. We'll actually take this hard drive bay out. Stick this right in. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip That started from this tropic board aboard this tiny ship The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour A three-hour tour The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed if not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. Oh, good news, guys. It booted up. So, uh, there's a win there. So, let's see how well this goes for us, eh? Okay, I've got the drivers here. So, let's see how we go with the two cards. I've disabled the drivers for the um, old stuff because it redetected them. See, there's no sound, so it's good so far. So let's see how she goes. Okay, I'm just going to put the driver's CD in. Okay, driver's CD is going in. And let's take her out. It's running straight off channel, not running off optical. Straight off my Mac Pro in Vista. So that successfully worked, guys. And I'll show you that in devices right now. Here we go, straight devices, and you will see, there we go, the x is in there. A moment of truth guys, see if this actually boots in the Mac OS. Alright, Apple Simul, that is promising. Hopefully it gets me to... Hopefully it doesn't panic. You'll know when it panics because it will reboot. If it can't handle the hardware. Okay guys, we're booted successfully into Mac OS. Um, from what I can see, it doesn't even see the x fi so that's good. It completely ignores the x fi That's exactly what I want it to do. Because I want to run directly off uh, optical, obviously. As I've said it here, I'm on optical currently. Um, so yeah, everything's working a treat. I'll